coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ made easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be learning about what is known as the reinterpret cast. And the reinterpret cast is an interesting type of cast mainly because you are probably not going to use it because it is probably the least safe way to cast but you may need it on a more bit level when it comes to programming but as beginner or intermediate you may not need this but it is good to know how they work right now and the way the reinterpret classes work is that they convert any pointer type to any other pointer type they don't have to be related they don't even have to correlate in any shape or form it just converts it and that's why it's really unsafe to use because it can convert anything to anything else it doesn't check if it um, correlates in any shape or form and therefore you can have very unsafe data or um, yeah just unsafe data floating around or if you pass one thing that's too big for another you run into errors not enough space is allocated and yada 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 so the reinterpret class you can convert it into a string or a string to an int or something to a, or another what it basically does on a binary level is copy the memory the bytes from one pointer to another and that's all it really does um to make it fairly simple so i made a class a i just renamed my class to class a and class b and um if i made a class uh a class a instance and and let's call it ca and i made a class b instance and i said cb they have um no relationship whatsoever but i could easily say reinterpret cast class um, A, a pointer to class A, and convert CB to class A, even though they have no relation whatsoever. And as a result, if I was to dereference this and do something with it, then it could become unsafe. So I would avoid using this at all costs unless you have a real good reason to work with it. And the only reason I can see right now that you'd want to work with it is on a more bit level where bytes you want to work with certain bytes and something like that but i just had to show you guys how it works so in the future if you need to use it you can use it but that's it for this tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe below and the next tutorial will be coming on monday so bye for now